Hey guys, this is Amjavid with another tutorial of how we can use basic and nested if statement or function in Excel. Here in this sheet, I have some data of employees from sales department. The sales they made for the company, their job rating, status, etc. In this very first example, I will use the basic simple if statement with no additional criteria. So, in this example, it will just be the logical test with the true or false arguments. Now, write your formula and here you can see that the simple if statement has only three arguments. First, the logical test. This is what you want to see whether it's true or false. And the second argument is that if that something is true, then do this. And the third argument is that if that something is not true, then do that. Well, for the logical test, I select the sales data and put the comparison operator greater than. And the value I am comparing it with is 9000. And what we want to know here is that if the sales is more than a certain value, in this case 9000, then give the employee an excellent job. And if it's not more than 9,000, then give the employee need improvement, or let's say good. So since it's a text, it needs to be written in quotation marks. Now put the closing parenthesis and hit enter, and double click on the cell handle or drag it down to copy the formula down. And here you can see that only one employee's sales figure made the criteria. So he got excellent and the rest got good since none of them met the condition or criteria we put in the logical test and for the purpose of example let's say change the sales value of this sales agent from 5000 to 9500 and here you can see that after changing the value it met the criteria and he also got excellent so our simple if statement is working fine now let me hide this column and in this example we will use nested if statement which means that there will be if statement within an if statement and there might be more than one if statements within an if statement well bear with me if it seems confusing at this point in time now in the last example we used only one criteria and there might be situations when you need to add more criteria to get to the required results. Well, start writing your if statement. And at this point, it seems exactly what we have done in the previous example, except the one change in the true or false output criteria. It was excellent and good in the previous example, but now in this example, we certainly want to appreciate the sales agent who achieved their targets of generating sales. So, before starting the third argument of the if statement, we can use another if statement as an argument of the first if statement. And remember, every if statement has three arguments which needs to be applied. So, this time, I add another criteria that says The sales agent who got 7000 and more in sales will be appreciated as excellent. Now here you can see that the two argument of the second if statement has completed. And if we want to add more criteria, we sure can by adding another if statement within the second if statement and so on. Here I am speeding up the process of writing the nested if statement. Anyhow, here you can see that I have added four if statements within the first if statement. And every if statement is the third argument of its previous if statement. And here you can see that I have used less than comparison operator with the last if statement which means 
that those sales agents who have made sales less than 3,000 are actually trainees or newly hired sales agents. Now, close the if statements by putting the closing parentheses and then hit enter. A small correction in the popping up image is the is equal to sign that needs to be added with the very last comparison operator. If it won't be used, then the value 3000 will not be included in the formula as this comparison operator is less than the 3000. So to include the 3000 figure, we have to add the is equal to sign with the very last comparison operator. Anyhow, after hitting the enter, just double click on the cell handle or just drag it down to copy the formula down. And here you can see that the sales agent A made sales more than 9000 and he will get some promotion. And the rest of the sales agent got their appreciation according to their performance. And you can see those sales agents who made less than 3000 are being considered as trainees even when they are with the company for many years. Normally it doesn't happen. Well, let's say they are freelancers and whenever they got some work they need to be trained. That's why they are being considered as trainees. Now if you want to see what exactly is happening within the formula, just make some space by dragging the formula bar down and press ALT plus ENTER before every IF statement to create a new line. Here you can see that all the IF statements have broken down into separate lines. And now you can see and understand it clearly what actually is happening in the formula. Now here you can see that it's saying that if B2 is more than 9000 then give that sales agent a promotion. Exactly the same way if the B2 is more and equal to 7000 then give him an appreciation accordingly and so on. And just hit enter to turn off the editing mode. And here you can see that these two agents are still being considered as trainees even when they are with the company for many years. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.